Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Life is Strange. We are just starting with the episode 2, uh, which is called Out of Time and happens to be my favorite episode. In the previous episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! Pieces what the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. I can tell you one thing. That is the exact moment when you regret all of your choices. I mean, am I the only one? <laughs> Seriously. Seeing all of those situations is like, uh, have I done the right thing? Maybe not. Let's hit the snooze. If I can, yes I can. Do you guys ever hit snooze? I never do that. It's just when when I fall asleep, because I have a lot of trouble with falling asleep. When I do, there's nothing you can do to wake me up. So falling asleep for the second time, no, that's a no-no. I would definitely miss every appointment that day. with this song, oh, just by the way. Oh, something good. Oh, something good tonight. I forget about something good. The moment of the excitement when you're starting a new episode. It's just priceless. Yeah. Get the flow. party is only on the one side that would be awkward but something something yeah it was probably <coughs> never mind Ooh, superhero is dirty work i need a shower <laughs> well you probably do this totally reminds me of being a kid in my room sorry mom I can make my bed whenever I want. Boom ya. Yeah, make I the bed. I am so honey. not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, mom. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, Chloe texted us. Um, okay. Hmm. Where did it start? Okay. You dare, Mad Max? Like I said, always for you. No emoji. Sad face. Meet me at diner in 40. I'll be there. Do not be late, or I'll know time is not on your side. After all, you did let Stepdog bust me. On my way. You are evil 40 minutes or else. Oh, and mum. Hi, honey. I hope you didn't forget to watch the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either, mummy. Okay. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Did I not water like Lisa? Like, no time has passed. Did I not water Lisa? Good morning, Lisa. Your <sighs> leaves are lovely today. I may not have okay. a green thumb, but I have a green finger. Are you there? Are you there being creepy? Or not? Are you there? No, look, he's 
he's a good guy. He isn't sneaking. Okay. Yeah, I will turn off the music because it will it is likely to distract me. Okay. Um what were we supposed to do? Okay, hit the showers. Hit the showers. Hit the showers. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Yeah, let's go. Did I forget something? I think I was about to make a selfie, yeah. Take a selfie, no let's make a selfie. Take your power seriously. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, you're more are you more happy, Max? That's cool. Now leave. Gordon, seriously, do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Okay, is she getting paid for this? I hope you are, Courtney. <clears throat> okay. I will erase that. Not writing anything this time. Ow! My god, people can be so mean. I am totally winding this one. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. That's what I call being an everyday hero. Yeah. Good I saw that. Okay, one thing I've just noticed. Look. Love you, mom. XOXO. Doesn't it remind you of the, the thing that Joyce left um, Chloe on the microwave? I think it's kind of the same writing. Well, let's speak to Alyssa. Why, hello again, Alyssa. Okay, Max. That's twice you've saved me from a projectile weapon. <laughs> Are you my guardian angel? Probably. Hardly. I just have a sixth sense for trouble. I'm glad to help you out. Blackwell has a surplus of assholes. Oh, oh yeah. by the way, Warren said you borrowed his epic film flash drive. I didn't know you were a sci-fi geek like us. What's your favorite? Oh, uh, okay, I must admit to you guys, uh, I've only seen Looper and I quite didn't like it. I've heard the Groundhog Day is the best one from those this I love the idea of going back in time to fix mistakes in Groundhog Day. <laughs> I barely want to go forward in time, much less go backward. I hear you, but it's all about the choices you make now. You and Warren do know your sci-fi. Be careful, you might make Brooke jealous. I'll just pretend I have no idea what you mean. Yeah. Um. Love you, see? Aww. Look at her happy like that. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. I really like Dana. She's awesome. She I've never seen Dana this bouncy and happy without a pot of coffee. <laughs> she looks kind of like Chloe now. Just dancing on her bed, being happy about life. Let's talk to her. What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. Yeah. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. <laughs> uh, I'm not big on cosplay. 
Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? I think if I would be Max, uh, I wouldn't go. But me, as a person, I would go. So, sorry, Max, we are going. Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. <laughs> After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. <laughs> yeah. I think Dana clearly likes us. That's really nice. Okay, so let's talk to someone else. I'm not talking to Brooke. I'm sorry. I really just know. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Oh, come Kate's on. not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Well, you should. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. Are you sure? I thought you'd be pissed. Not at you. Part of me was almost disappointed because I built up so much rage. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Yeah. Well, we converted one person. Alyssa, are you okay? Just staring into this wall. Okay. Let's go. Kate. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Serious Doesn't ones. everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Okay. Let's go to the shower. And that feeling you get that something wrong is gonna happen now, it's just always overwhelming for me. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. <sighs> yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. Thanks. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. Oh my god. 
Some people are just, yeah. It's really sad. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Kate didn't even, you know, take her stuff with her. We are erasing the message. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Assholes. Okay, let's go. Everybody liked Rachel. So yeah, we are going to head and have a breakfast. Um, did I forget anything? Oh yeah, now I need to get Kate's book. Um, one thing. I think I'm forgetting something. I really feel like, okay, never mind. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Yeah. Yeah, I'm always like that. Also. Be gone, nice. foul soft drink. So don't feel bad. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. <laughs> I love her for being so weird. Um, okay, let's go. I need to get dressed before I go there. Oh, okay, probably. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. <laughs> nice. Okay. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. Yeah. I do have all the time in the world now. So, let's go. Don't want to waste it anyway. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything, or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Huh. <sighs> That wasn't a nice message. <clears throat> no, probably Nathan. Oh shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. Are you? You yeah, in there? it can be anybody, yeah, so. I'm here. I'm let's now. not judge. Yeah, and that's instant sadness. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? <sighs> that's some serious stuff here. Kate really has a doting father. Yeah, this card is really nice, actually. Um, and the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended not John Katie you'll always be my brightest light against the dark hugs and love pup <sighs> yeah really sorry for Kate though I don't know actually what to say about the situation we because we obviously all know almost nothing so I rather not judge and say anything um, right now. Um, so I'm not going to comment on the situation yet. Uh, hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? Well, um, I hate bullies. 
I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Okay, so this is where my theory kind of, you know, uh, doesn't make sense because he wouldn't be after her um, only because she is in the Vortex Club because he clear because when I said that Nathan, you know, works somehow with um, David, maybe that's just some sort of a cover up. I don't know, but. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, I also got something interesting to to say, um, but not now. I'm just hoping I'm not going to forget what I wanted to say. Um, I just wanted to say when the situation is on, so I'll just write it down. Uh, but I also have, you know, some kind of support for my theory about Nathan being involved with, um, you know some more people in the game than we th originally think. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. <sighs> that doesn't sound like her. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Hmm. Did you go? Definitely not. I'm not sure where I went. What do you remember about that? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Okay, so the question that is haunting me, who is behind what happened to Kate? Because we are sure that Nathan is involved somehow. We are sure that Victoria was in, you know, uh, was in the situation also. But the only thing that doesn't match only two of them is the soft voice, which neither of them would have needed. 
and would have wanted to use uh, to Kate. So originally I thought it's Mark Jefferson behind all of this, but I don't want to throw the theory out there just because I don't have that much evidence against him now. Uh, but personally, I'm pretty sure that uh, Mark Jefferson has a big say in this situation. Uh, for one, because uh, clearly... Um, okay, I'm not... No, I'm not going to get into that. But, you know, m one of my biggest suspicion is on Mark Jefferson. So, Max... Can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Um. Well, I don't think she should at this point. We should look for more proof. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Yeah, we need more proof. Uh, that's, you know, the first say. Plus, please remember, you guys, that Prescott's almost own the police department here. Uh, so, you know, that just doesn't make sense. And I have almost exact same carpet in my bedroom. This is creepy. Okay, so I think I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Bye!